Hello, everyone. My name is Caitlin Hernandez Spalding, and I am a research assistant at Morehouse School of Medicine's Center for Maternal Health Equity. We have a few different projects going on at the center, and today I have the privilege to present the Maternal Near Miss Study. So just as some background information, a maternal near miss can really be thought of as a near death experience. And the technical definition of a maternal near miss is a very ill pregnant or delivered birthing person who nearly died but survived a complication during pregnancy, childbirth, or postpartum up to 42 days. When we talk about severe maternal morbidity, this includes any unexpected outcomes of labor and delivery that result in significant short or long-term consequences to a birthing person's health. For every maternal death, it's estimated that about 50 to 100 women and birthing persons experience severe maternal morbidity, and this rate has steadily increased. Additionally, the incidence of severe maternal morbidity is about two to three times higher for Black American birthing persons when compared to non-Hispanic white birthing persons. So the purpose of this study was to gather narratives from birthing persons of color and to communicate these experiences as data points that will influence clinical practice, policy, and healthcare strategies. Talking a little bit about the methodology of this study, we conducted 87 interviews from July of 2021 through April of 2022. 56 participants experienced a maternal near miss, and 31 of the participants experienced severe maternal morbidity. For participants to be eligible to participate in this study, they had to be over 18 years old, they had to be able to provide consent, they had to self-identify as a person of color, they had to either live in the United States or receive their maternal care, in the United States, and they had to have experienced life-threatening pregnancy, birth, and or postpartum complications. And so using the three delays model and the ICHOM set of patient-centered outcome measures for pregnancy and childbirth, we designed an interview guide that contained 12 main questions and 13 probing questions to ask the participants to tell us their story. These interviews were conducted virtually and they lasted between one to two hours. Some of the preliminary findings include a dismissal of concerns. So many participants talked about how they felt like their concerns, their pain, their worries, anything they may have brought to the attention of their healthcare provider was kind of dismissed or brushed off. They felt like they weren't taken seriously and they weren't heard. Additionally, we heard many experiences of racism and um, racial discrimination, and we also heard many experiences about insurance-based discrimination. So, for example, some of our participants who indicated that they had Medicaid at the time talked about how they were treated differently just because they had Medicaid. Additionally, participants talked about how there was this lack of communication from their health care provider and health care staff, and this led to them just not feeling informed about their complication or anything like that. These experiences were also seen to have had both short and long-term um, health effects for the participants, including both mental health effects and physical health effects. And last but not least, um, several participants talked about how their experience has actually impacted their decision to have future children. Uh, many participants talked about how they are now hesitant to pursue another pregnancy and nervous to give birth. In conclusion, we should be looking at a number of, of factors when we um, examine contributors to maternal mortality rates, maternal morbidity rates, and when we're looking to improve maternal health in general. Three factors that need to be considered um, after conducting these interviews and thinking about these participants' stories are racism, discrimination, and the overall quality of care that birthing people of color um, receive. Thank you.